Why is there no iris on the Midway station? One of the most common complaints about the gate bridge is that Rodney and Carter did not install an iris. Here's why they didn't, as an iris on Midway just wouldn't be very practical. Firstly, let's recap how Midway actually dials. For this example, I'll be dialing from Atlantis using a puddle jumper. I input the specified gate bridge code into an onboard laptop's dialing software and wait for the gate to dial up. Once connected, I fly into the event horizon and I'm sent to the receiving gate. Once there, the macro holds me inside the gate buffer. The dialing gate then disconnects the wormhole. I am now inside Pegasus gate 1 of 17, and this gate then dials and sends me to the second gate. This continues until I reach the Pegasus gate on board Midway, at which point the macro instructs the gate to actually reintegrate me through the event horizon. Once I am at Midway, I enter a similar gate bridge code for the Milky Way gates, and an identical process is repeated on this side of the bridge. Once I reach the SGC gate, the macro instructs me to be reintegrated once again, and I am pushed into the SGC. Now that we know what happens during transit, let's add an iris to Midway and do it again. I input the specified gate bridge code into an onboard laptop's dialing software and wait for the gate to dial up. Once connected, I send my Midway IDC and myself into the event horizon and am sent to the receiving gate. Once there, the macro holds me inside the gate buffer. This continues until I reach the Pegasus gate on board Midway, at which point the station checks my IDC authentication. If correct, the gate shield is lowered and I can safely be ejected from the event horizon. Another way an IDC would work would be to dial the first gate, send the IDC signal, and then wait until it reached Midway. A second confirmation signal would then be sent back, which in total would take around 30 minutes just to get going onto the bridge. These options offer a lot of problems. When I was inside the Midway gate buffer, what would stop me from becoming ejected and hitting the shield before someone lowered it? Well, it would be the macro. It would essentially hold me inside the buffer until it received a gate shield lowering signal and push me out. Sure, that works, but what if there's a wraith attack on Midway? The wraith obviously wouldn't let me out, as to them that would be seen as reinforcements from Earth. So I would sit inside the buffer for 38 minutes until the wormhole disengages, wiping me from the buffer. This means that if there was a shield, the macro would have to have a built-in lowering feature of its own, just in case of a base takeover. After a set amount of time, the shield would be forcibly lowered by the macro, and I would be ejected to save me from buffer storage death. The IDC confirmation wait method also wouldn't work well, as by the time the green light code reached Atlantis or Earth, the opposite side could have fallen under attack from either a Goa'uld or Wraith strike force. By the time you reach Midway, you likely fall into enemy hands and are killed. Even though the Midway station gave you the green light to go, it took 30 minutes to get you here, which is too large of a gap to give you real-time safety relays. And even still, that scenario takes us right back to the shield raising problem. If there's no one there to open the shield, then the macro would have to be built in to do it for you. We have actually seen this scenario play out almost word for word in the episode Midway. The Wraith take over the station and manage to dial Earth, at which point the iris is manually lowered by Walter. If it were a person travelling through the gate bridge and not a stun weapon, what if Walter or any of the gate technicians were not there to open the iris? The macro would definitely have a failsafe option and would open the iris after a few minutes of inactivity. Before he opens the iris, we hear him say, receiving Midway IDC, which is an example of using some form of iris for the station, but that's due to it connecting to Earth directly, as they have no choice but to have the iris installed. The same goes for Atlantis. Overall, having a gate shield on Midway station only serves to slow down the travel time, as it has too many faults when it comes to traveller safety. The iris system used by Earth and Atlantis is only effective during a wormhole connection between two gates only.